The do's and don'ts of home buying. Most of this is common sense, but you wouldn't believe how many transactions are derailed at the last minute. So these are the do's. Obviously make sure that your employment, asset, and personal information is correct on the loan application, right? Number two, and this is what snags a lot of people at the, at the end of the transaction, account for all non-payroll deposits into each account used for the transaction. So basically anything outside of a payroll check or a IRS refund, um, an underwriter is going to want to know what that money is and where it came from. A lot of the reason for that is because somebody could go take a loan out or refinance their car, put that money in the bank, and then that's another debt that we have to count against them. So make sure when you turn in your bank statements, you're accounting for any large non-payroll type of deposits. Also, respond to any requests from your loan officer or your lender as promptly as possible. Can't stress that enough and obviously continue to make all of your payments on time. Now to the don'ts. Again, most of this is common sense, but a lot of these loans get derailed at the very end. So number one, do not apply for any new credit or financing of any kind and do not co-sign on any loan for anyone going through the transaction of buying a home. Number two, do not have your credit pulled. At the end of a transaction, an underwriter always wants to know what's going on with your credit. We're always going to do an update two days before closing to make sure that nothing new has happened. So if you've had your credit pulled, if you were trying to finance a car or a student loan, that credit inquiry will show, and then we're going to have to document what the terms of that financing was, or if there was any financing that resulted uh, from that credit inquiry. Number three. Do not change your name or your address. If you're newly married, keep your maiden name and keep your current address until after the loan closing. And do not change jobs. Can't stress this enough. Stay in your current position, hold on for as long as you can, get the loan closed, and then you can change jobs. And the last one, do not spend your down payment or closing cost money. So don't go finance a boat put a large lump sum down that could affect your closing cost money at the end of the transaction. You do all of these things and your transaction will go smoothly. And as always, you can reach out to me and my team at the number below, call us or text us, and we're glad to help.